to Australia here for season 14 of the season uh, 5 PMU Cup Series and we're here at Cola Park Thunderdome for our usual race here and we hope this will be much of an exciting race compared to the last race that we've had here and this is certainly going to be a big one here um, last race in Japan was was, was really crazy um, we've seen um, Cam Wright losing the win to James Jameson thanks to the caution of what would have been what, 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 what would have been hardly uh, expected from, from Cam Wright pardon me but either way um, so we're here at Cola Park Thunderdome this is going to be a very interesting race here and we're going to cut it short and sweet because we are running a bit late, later than usual as always. So let's cut to the chase with the qualifying session. Now this is going to be a big one and I'm so hot pounding on who is going to qualify. Who will it be this time? Drivers. Drew Walker will will start on, on, the, on the front. I think the thing that he first pulled up the season. Nolo Hamilton, a great second place start for him. Dex Miyazaki in third place, Kenzie Simmons fourth place, Blake Parker fifth place, Kendrick Meek sixth place, Avery Hamilton seventh place, Albrecht Strauss eighth, Cat Rose ninth, and David Dixon tenth to their top ten starters. We go down with the, a lot of big names um, this season that have that have started. Uh, Really down the order, Cam Wright will start twenty second alongside his son, though, who is who is right behind him. Though this is going to be interesting. Hey. Jimmy Simpson, last week, their, their first win of the season is probably that last, I think. Or is it a Honda? No, no, that was that was as a Cohen Junior. Ah. So um. We've seen other race winners. Um, who else? I can remember. I know Meeks qualified in the top ten, so that's pretty decent. Terry Lowell started close to the top ten. Can't wait to see how for him. He's twenty second. Oh, oh, and Scott as well. He's right in front of Cam Wright. He's also had a bad qualifying. Lane Hills will have a really bad qualifying. So this is going to get even interesting as always, but this is Australia, so who knows? Anything can happen. So let's let let's cut off. Um, let's get this done over with. Get the start done over with. But first, we always always have to do this. The Australian national anthem will come into play. So let's let's hear it all for the national anthem. The next one minute from now.
There you go. Oh, I so saw I made an error. What did you do? Oh no, I, I, I thought I made an error. My bad. I had a had a bad feeling. Okay. Right, let's get this done and over with. The uh the start of course. Yeah, I've had a bad feeling, so uh so right. Right. Let's hear it all for the words next, and race. Our next words will be mm, South Africa. Drivers, so. I think though. So. Start your yep. engines. So let's see all the cars rolling. Back man. And here we go. And we had a few issues uh, coming out. Well, let's see how all the cars line up. They're all lining up smoothly. Yeah, there's one blow up. Don't think anyone's blown up. No one's blown up yet, so. Not yet. All right. So there you go, Drew Walker. Bro, that picture has to go all the way around. You never know when it's gonna blow up. If anyone blows up, I'm gonna f I'm gonna throw my laptop out of the window. Okay, now th this is what happens. No, it's not blow up. There you see Drew Walker. Your pole there right now. CTM have uh, are, are, are starting to come even stronger than before, and are already close contenders for the title right now. But anyway, here we go, and away we go here in Australia for the next 100 laps here at the Calder Park Thunderdome, as Drew Walker will. Uh, Take, take the lead from there. And uh, Bedex Mizaki already up to second place. His teammates. That's already a CTM 1 2. And uh, Kenzie Simmons in fourth. Looks looks like she's she's, she's got a bit of a faster car down here. So there we go. The CTM cars are now blowing away. Noble Hamilton down into third place, but still holding it right there. And Avery Hamilton is trying to take over Kendrick Meeks. We have a bit of Daytona racing going along as uh, cars are going on the inside. Cars getting on the inside, cars falling on the outside. And we have a train of cars for the lead already. This is going to get interesting, and I'm bound to see what's going to happen next. I think that Pacific Pay is putting a little pressure on like Parker. Walker seems to be in a, in a bit more comfortable position right now, as uh, he's got a bit of a gap between him and second place uh, Dex Mizaki. Can I say that? Yes. Well, if I pay scheme, that's more. That's pretty good. But yeah, that is a different paint scheme that the Drew Walker is, is currently racing at the moment. And we have two blue cars around the number 13. There is Terry Will uh, in uh, ninth place. And maybe with a point you can barely see. And Dex Mizaki closing in on the 47.
Wait, I think Joe Walker won a race here in Australia before. So this could be a second race win here, I think. Unless I'm bad of history right now. And we see two more cars joining the party. There's Blake Parker. Seems to be right behind the 99 right now. See, the 99 seems to be going a bit more side to side. Could be that she's doing something or something bad's happening to the 99. But so far, uh, not a lot of passes down here. But this is Australia racing, so who knows? Oh, and Scott climbing a little bit. Maybe not quite. You can see he's already falling a bit behind. He's around the outside. So it appears that he was running just wide. And now that's given uh, James Jameson an opportunity. And of course, Cam Wright Jr. Cam Wright Sr. saying something about a uh, contest between the 62 and the 88. Contact between 62 and 88. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's find out. That was a while ago, so. Back behind. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so Vardars, did he did he make contact or what? Oh, well, maybe he did like make contact. Bit. I'm not sure if he did make contact. When was that? I have no idea. Oh, there was a bit of there was a bit of brief contact. Yep. You can see Cameron Senior just and touched the sixty two. Oh, he almost wrecked him. Yeah, Carval was able to keep his car under control. Royal is not happy. Look at a different angle. You can see how close the cover was to hitting the wall, but luckily his car was under control. We go on board, Camry Senior. He's in tenth. He's in an intense position right now to trying to retain his championship lead. He could lose it once again after this race. Yeah. Probably to Drew Walker. Good driving by Royal. You know, a rookie coming into here on his first season. Anyway, we're at lap 10. Still no drama happening right now. Not not real drama, but still. And looks though so Kenzie Simmons making a move on the number 55 and she takes over third place from Nolan Hamilton. See, we have a train of cars coming really soon. So, not much, not much uh, change going on towards the front. Drew Walker is, is still leading at the moment with Dex Miyazaki in second place. So far, it is CTM's day. Well, we did we did show uh, the 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 new scheme of the 43 um, just a few races ago. Don't know would it count it a bit kind of enough? Well, there you can see Petty Jr. is on is on different schemes. This is the scheme that she's been using for the past uh, a few races. I think like you still see a bit of Richard Petty Jr. inside her. There'll be a Petty. Not to get confused. Oh, and there. Her Richard Petty Jr. last race. Nolan Hamilton takes back third place from Kenzie Simmons. And it looks as though others seems to be on, on course for a potential move on the 99. Maybe. Could easily be Drew Walker or Nolan Hamilton, I think. Could take the lead. In fact... Let's check the point standings right now. So currently, Camaro Senior is leading the championship with 256 points. Drew Walker currently second place with 227 points. So potentially 
as it is right now. So Cameron Senior could lose the lead to Drew Walker after this race. Because of how far Cameron Senior is down, this could be a very tight one. Let's see, I'll run some scenario. There's Dex Mizaki, Nola Hamilton. Nola Hamilton has a, has a rather unusual uh, see, uh, good season so far. Probably his best, obviously, so far. His career's best. And there is Kendrick Meeks. Still holding on to, to that 7th place spot. Could lose it in a moment. Dex Mizaki is falling back a little bit. Now he's getting caught up with the oncoming cars right behind him. It looks as though Noel Hamilton is going to try and make a move for a thing. Right. I know we had issues with lag in the past couple of races so please let me know if this stream is not anybody's taste yet if it's lagging please let me know so that I can fix it and sort things out but so right now see, if Mickey Rice here got a win of one point and Andrew Walker would have to finish and Fourth place and take the lead by one point. Well, where he is right now, things are looking good for Drew Walker, but not good for Cameron Senior. Kenzie Simmons finally starts to lose it now. As we've got Avery Hamilton, Meeks, and Gonzalez overtaking her. So that's like, well, that's like two positions she's lost, where she's able to take that. Uh, position where she was from Gonzalez that's like a set like uh, a sixth place spot but now she's losing it and now uh, Avery Hamilton oh maybe these cars are now catching up to Drew Walker maybe whose gap is still stabilizing but potentially could could start to decrease in a moment that will depend on the tyres, even though that we're still really early in the race. We're like just before a quarter part of the race. Oh, we have a we have a real train battle for for second place. Dex Mizaki trying to hold as much as he can possibly can. We hope this is not going to end up in a in a in a in a collision up so far up so high up in in this position right now. The team owners are biting their nails, praying to God they don't get caution. Or their cars get into wreck. We hardly have any had any cautions in Australia. So I did try and uh, make the game a bit more difficult for, for, yeah, I made the game a bit more difficult, so this could depend on what's going on right now. And basically there are two ahead. If it being declined. Let's go down. Let's go down the field for now. Uh, as we see Blake Parker, where is he? He's, he he's, he's in the top ten, but Lynn Hill is is, is coming right up head right at him and Cameron Senior. So I didn't know that Cameron Senior and Lynn Hill are both climbing up the order. Looks like they're on. Looks like they're on the fight for contention for the championship. I think. <laughs> What the 
and let's see that is Albert Strauss in that new 44 car this is the first time he's driving the 44 in equivalent to the number 50 and he's back in a mark And Noel Hamilton gets up front of uh, of of Dex Mizaki. So he's currently right uh, behind Drew Walker. Gonzalez uh, coming up as well. When uh, Tyrell Lowell joins joins the party. Let's go on board rear, Drew Walker, and let's see how the gap is doing. The gap looks to me, it is decreasing a little bit due to the, uh, due, 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 due to how hesitant the cars are doing right now and trying to get up to one position from another. There's, a, there's always, there's always a, a, tr a train of cars right behind Drew Walker and it is getting longer and bigger. So it looks as though that looks like it still could be anybody's race. That's it. That is one thing I would say right now. Oh, oh! I just thought I saw something on Drew Walker's car, but nothing too serious. Uh, can we just? Uh, can be the paint job. Oh look! Uh, almost free wide. It looks to be. Uh, now look. Look how the tires are playing their part. Looks like the, looks like the tires are starting to fall from this point onwards. We don't know when will the pit stops come into play. I did um had I did arrange the pit stops earlier so that everyone is more equal to the tires. Cameron Senior alongside Leiden Hill. Where are we? We're in lap 30 now. So we're coming close to halfway mark. And Kenzie Simmons is continuing to fall slightly. Oh, and Kendrick Meeks. Is climbing up slightly as uh, Nola Hamilton is getting threatened by 14 and probably the number 10 from losing that second place spot. Andrew, the way. Oh, don't forget these two drivers were the ones who who, riv who rivaled each other back at Watkins Glen, which resulted in Kendrick Meeks taking the win from the number 14 of Dex Miyazaki so already they're battling each other again at Australia Cameron gets past Lane Hill, and now he's got a train of cars right in front of him.
So let's see how the battle snaps are doing. Not bad so far. So I double check on that. Oh, and Cameron Ray Senior is already gaining like hell. Look at him right now. He is determined to retain that championship lead. It looks as though likely that he will definitely stay as he, as, as, as he is right now in the point standings after this race. You can see he is climbing up. He is not stopping. He's, he's now got Kinsey Simmons to deal with right now. So far, it's, it's a quiet race. yes it is so now he's got Kendrick Meeks up next so far nobody got hit nobody had retired Cameron Senior is approaching Cam Kendrick Meeks. He's caught up with the with, with the with the with this pack now. Okay, I've uh, I've focused too much on that side of the grid, that, that, that side of the pack. But now we're gonna focus more towards the front now. Cameron Senior, what is lap time right now? He's potentially one of the fastest uh, up front. Probably faster than later. So he is definitely not stopping there. Here comes Meeks on Miyazaki. And Senior does the same as well on Miyazaki. And he drifts past him with ease for fourth place. Alpha is points lead. If it ends right now and drew up a one, he'll be 11 points back from Camry Senior. 
Ooh, the camera seen it going wild a little bit. That will get that will put Mix under pressure, which probably could give Mix the opportunity of trying to overtake the somewhat more underperforming Nolo Hamilton. And he's he's getting a bit closer now. Former team rode those tires off. There's probably the reason why cameras here was able to get past him so quickly. Here comes Senior, he's going to try and take both cars, probably not the 55, but he's going to take over the 10 for third place now. Not yet, he's going to drag it by him. This could be a warning for Drew Walker that he needs to up his game, that Cameron Senior, he's getting faster than before. Mix is still there. But he's going to, well, well, Mix might be able to resist uh, from, well, not quite. That will put, that will put both uh, Mix and Miyazaki on the outside. So now Camera Senior is up into, th up into third place now. Now he's got Nolan Hamilton and then last but not least there's Drew Walker. And here he comes, Camera Senior. Alongside number 55, the number 55 looks like he is going to respond, but will he respond for longer? Doesn't look like it. Oh, just about make it. He shuts the door on, on, on Cam Wright Sr. Take a look at the, uh, the lab and we are. For your information about uh, Europe 1, from the check, he did. Is your season 2 or season 3? And in fact, it was Cam Wright Sr. and Drew Walker fighting for the lead. In which Drew well, Walker won. So this could be some sort of payback from, from Cam Rice Sr. if he was able to win this one. Oh my gosh, close shot. Looks like that uh, Miggs is trying to overtake Sr. on the outside. Doesn't look like it's a good, it's, it's a good idea. And he finally makes a move on the 55. Looks like he's going to make things easier for the 55. Probably not. Mizaki pushes Great Senior on the outside. It's going to be a good chance for the 14 to get by, back by him. And camera will fend him off. Not quite. Still, no one has retired as of yet. And don't know how many. Don't know how long we we have. Well, we know we we've, we've gone past the halfway mark now. So, still no yet any pit stops. And pit stops are coming. Nolo Hamilton being one of the first to pit. And more cars are pitting now. So just around halfway, halfway part of the race.
and the rest pits. Drew Walker, the leader, pits. Senior Mr. pitting senior. And Miyazaki. You don't want a good pit stop. Ooh. Pit stops are getting cleaner uh, in the Ooh. past... Uh, in the, well, in the past few races, in the past few uh, Ooh, let's see why. laps, pit, maybe. Pit road. Let's see who will beat another on pit road. Ooh, yeah, I thought Jiroko had a problem. I was crapping my pants right there. <laughs> anyway, senior. Ooh, not quite. Drew Walker beats it to the line. Potentially a, a fixed second place, unless maybe senior. Can get in front. This is going to be it. Oh, Nolo Hamilton is coming. Oh, who's going to beat him? Nolo Hamilton will take the lead. And makes the second place. He also beats Drew Walker to the line. After the round of pet stop. So, there you go. We potentially have a new race leader here. Nolo Hamilton. And Meeks is just right behind him. So, it's still anybody's race. Still... So seems as though Nolan Hamilton's early pit stop did pay off. So now he's up in the front. Meeks also up in front after an early pit stop. So it's these two who are in the low right now. No one has retired yet. That we know of. Anyway, Nolan Hamilton is still leading. Makes right behind him, urging himself for a second race win of the season. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I think we have a caution. It is a caution. We're seeing lights right now. Nicky Rive just got hit. It looks as though that. We'll have to find out what's going on, but Nicky Rob is definitely involved. That Let's see what happens. Not what that is not what the 55 wanted. Oh, CJ Williams. Oh, he got Nicky dumped Rob. by CJ Williams, almost hitting Bouchard. Yep, these two got hit. These two got hit. Oh, close shave for Roberto Crown Jr. and and Rally Hill. But it seems as though some of well, I thought some of them made their pit stops, but uh, wow, that was a close shave for these two cars, uh, Roberto Crown Jr. and Riley Hill. Let's have a look at it again. Our first caution of the Let's race. See. Let's see who caused it. Yeah, that is CJ Williams. I don't know if it's, if it's a racing incident like last time when we questioned whether it would be a racing incident. So let's take a look at the reply of... We're going to go let's on board with Nikki Rav. <laughs> yeah, she got smashed, so she's forced to retire. Yeah, On board the Reese's car of CJ Williams. In fact, these two drivers were um, the two drivers, in fact, the two rivals uh, last season. And it looks as though that I guess it's going to be a feud between these two. CG Williams versus Nicky Rive. Two D2 rookies. Some, well, well, basically uh, clash with each other. With CG Williams taking uh, Nicky Rive out, which is very unfortunate to see. So now, let's get back to the front and let's get through the the yellow flag session you call this yeah 
Okay, it looks as though that the pace truck is already about to pull in. Already. That was that was pretty quick. But anyway. About to go green shortly. Oh, Dylan Hayne up into fifth place. Magnificent. Right, pace truck pulls in and we're gonna go shortly after the car starts to cross the line and away we go let's see if Nolan Hamilton can, can, can bring home his first ever win in his career but he's gonna have to hold it oh my gosh he's gone wide and that will give me the opportunity of a potential pass but will Nolan Hamilton be able to recover and it looks as though Drew Walker is giving Meeks a push. But that failed, so Nolan Hamilton stays up front. But how long though? How long though for Nolan Hamilton before he loses that lead? Look at the way he, you can see he's not gonna be able to defend that position any longer. I think potentially because of the race star, it looks as though that Nolan Hamilton would have had more breathing space if there wasn't a caution out there. Oh, there comes, here comes uh, Drew Walker. Looks like he has a bit of help from, from Cam Wright Sr. And just not good enough still. Noel Hampson stays up front. Meeks is dying for another race win. But Drew Walker hasn't had, haven't had a race win yet this season. So this could be his day. Look at how strong these uh, these opponents are. In fact, not to forget, these two are actually former champions, season one and season two, respectively. With Meeks up front, and still not a way to get past. Now this is becoming a hard charging train right now. Just look at this train. And here comes Meeks. Will he finally get a front of Nolan Hamilton? It looks as though he pushes Nolan Hamilton onto the outside. So these three are going to get past him in one go. Probably not yet for Cam Wright Sr. Nolan Hamilton falls down to third as Meeks is now up into the lead. And looks like Drew Walker. He's probably going to give it a try on his uh, his former rival, uh, Kendrick Meeks. Will he go f go for it up front? It looks like it, but not quite. Meeks slightly closes the door, but uh, Meeks, I mean, Walker is not giving up on the 10 right now. Oh my gosh, I think Cameron Senior was about to touch the CT car of, of Drew Walker. Maybe he's not happy. Looks like he, Drew Walker wouldn't be happy if he if he go if he went further from there. Cameron Senior. Probably some drafting could help um, when we get them back up front. Meeks is still leading. This is honestly a good battle between these hard charging rivals right now. Here comes Senior around Drew Walker. Will he make it up front? It looks as though he will. And that will give Nolan Hamilton the opportunity of a pass as well as Drew Walker gets pushed onto the outside. Senior up into second place. His dodge is so on the charge right now and pretty much unstoppable. And Meeks, unfortunately, is suffering from uh, a bad moment from that uh, collision earlier on, which brought out the caution. Yeah, he's, he's got a bit of damage in front of his car. That's not going to do any better. So, Senior continues to lead. I mean, Meeks continues to lead. With uh, Senior not far from him. This is going to get even more interesting. This is like, this is your top 10 all the way to Owen Scott. From Abraham Hamilton, Joey Maddox, Miyazaki, 
Dylan Hayden, James Jimison, and then down to Nola Hamilton. As we take a look at the lap times, um, Wright Senior is a bit quicker than Meeks on the last lap. And quicker than the cars around him, so it looks as though he'll, he'll, he'll try and get away from there. Oh, Jameson. Jameson seems to have a good car right now. Last race was a surprise. Jameson um, beating Cameron Senior to the win in the closing in the closing laps of the race. Probably could cause another upset in this entire race. And here comes Great Senior on Meeks. He will take the lead all the way up from 22nd on the grid. He goes around. Meeks is trying to respond. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to defend that position. They go side by side. But Meeks just take that to, just kept that lead on that lap but probably not any longer than that they're still side by side but Meeks is still getting the upper front so not quite enough for Senior to make a to to take over uh Meeks for that lead oh my gosh what happened down there I think he got pushed did he got pushed did he got pushed that's a big question mark he might have got pushed which led him to being which led him to, to carry on, on on his maneuver. Oh well, you know what? I think we need to have a look at that uh, reply uh, between Walker and 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 Camry Senior. We'll find out if they touched. I believe they touched. You can see how intense they were. Oh, I think did he, maybe he hit Meeks as well. I don't know. Maybe um, Wright Senior might have might have had the feeling of, oh my gosh, I gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Almost touched with each other. That could have ended up worse if we carry on at least a meter more. Yeah, a, a, probably a slight tap between the two cars. Drew Walker, who was drafting right behind the number 88. Anyway, Wright Senior now into the lead with only 27 laps to go. Meeks up into second place. I mean, Walker up into second place. Why am I getting mixed up with drivers again? Meeks third place. Noah Hamilton fourth. James in fifth place. Jameson now up into fourth place. Has fallen back. Don't know how big the gap is between this car and the leaders. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, no, I, I think he's like half a track away, so. I think they're all okay. Already, you can see the the cars behind Wright Senior are coming back to him, and James Jameson will also join the party as well. 
this is not going to be good for Wright Senior, who is trying to keep his lead as much as he can possibly can. He doesn't want to lose and a ch another chance of a race win again, thanks to what happened last race in Japan. So now we have a train of cars coming right up. It still could be anybody's race, not only out of the four. But Wright Senior is trying to keep the train at bay to make sure that uh, no one else makes an attempt of a move. Keep a look at the, the lap times. Uh, we have 21, 20, 22 laps to go. But here it comes. Oh, here comes Jameson on uh, Meeks. And he is set to take over that spot for third place. And he goes up into third place. So now Wright Senior is a bit of, it's, he's kind of, he's, he's, he's a bit in, in danger right now from Drew Walker. Whom he 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 overtook for first place uh, about ten laps ago. So now he's holding as much as he can, using his professional experience as much as he can possibly can to hold that to hold that lead. It's still a bit of a long way to go, but how long will he hold it for? Because right now this is not a time for him to relax. Already he's got cards, even James Jameson, the guy who beat him on the closing laps to the win uh, last uh, last race in Japan. If he wins again, this could be an upset as well. This is right senior for all the hard work he's put in and all losing that important win at almost the last minute. Jameson, he is faster than the two up front. He's now not, he's now, he's now becoming unstoppable right here. He tries to make a move on Drew Walker, but Drew Walker, I think he made a plan. I think James Jameson might have gone a bit overexcited with himself. So now uh, Drew Walker saves himself from getting overtaken from second place. But you can see Drew Walker going a bit wide. So that's not a good sign. But I mean, the way he drove must have... Uh, cause uh, the number 19 to change plans don't forget this is the same number in fact this is basically the old Meeks car that uh, Meeks actually drove to his championship back in season one and he's right here right behind the 19 so this is technically old versus new old Meeks versus new Meeks But still, Wright Senior is keeping his lead, and oh dear, lap car is coming right up. Now this is probably going to change everything. Looks like everyone's going to have to brace themselves of getting put up with the lap car now. But we hope that this could cause distraction to anyone's game. We don't know yet. Here comes Drew Walker. He is getting close on the on the number 88. Walker is now getting pressured from that lap car. But will the 81 make a move? Will 81 get will, will 81 get aside? Doesn't look so yet. Maybe he's trying to find the right time. Oh, thanks to him, Drew Walker pushes Senior onto the outside. But Senior's trying to hold a right there. He's still got the car right in front of him. Now, these two are right behind CJ Williams. Honestly, I have to say something about CJ Williams. What the hell are you doing? Well, thanks a lot to that. This is shaking up the whole field. So, Drew Walker is now in the lead. And James Jameson bringing in with him. So, that will push. Looks like Wright Senior is not going to be happy with getting put up with that lap car of CJ Williams. As Drew Walker takes the lead here at uh, Australia. What lap are we on right now? We've got 13 laps to go. And here comes, oh look, Jameson's right there. 
And Reisling is trying to recover from that uh, bit of misfortune down there. He's certainly not happy with the 81 for what he's done to him. Oh, Miyazaki, what happened? Wait, did I see Miyazaki? What happened to Miyazaki? That's a big question mark. I think he got hit. Don't know if he got hit, but let's see. Oh, he pitted. It wasn't for tires. It looks as though a penalty or something or a fuel strategy, I think. So we got to keep an eye on that one. Well, anyway, and that's certainly going to give Athena even more headache now. Because now he's got another lap car. And thanks to lap cars, he's certainly not going to be happy that he has his win taken away from him for the second time this season. So now this could be between Walker and Jameson. As um, Senior is able to get back up front. Well, back uh, away from the lap car. So now. So let's see. So now they're spaced up a little bit now with Walker leading the race. Let's hope to God this race doesn't end up in chaos. Or else it will end up in chaos. Oh, here comes Jameson closing in a Walker. He could go two in a row here at Australia. He is getting close on Walker. Looks like he is dying for more wins right now. Well, ten, less than 10 laps to go. We got nine laps to go now. And this, this is gonna be crucial now between these three now, I think. It still could be anybody's race. So don't rule out anyone just yet. We know how hard it is for everyone to try and get to the end of the race. And Camry is getting a bit quicker now. So he's trying to make up for lost time and trying to do everything he can to make a last minute move and probably get back in front. We don't know how long he can keep up. Because I think with Jameson being more conservative, he, he might have a better chance at uh, getting up a front. But we don't know yet. It is still anybody's game. Perhaps maybe this will not be decided by if there's going to be a caution cause. Maybe. And here comes Senior. Now he is getting so hard on himself right now. Look at him now already getting close to Jameson. And... He is going to go for it. We've got six laps to go. Seven laps to go here at Australia. Saini is struggling a little bit on the 19. He might not have enough time to make his way up in the front if he can. But uh, we don't know yet. Anything can happen as uh, Senior still got 19 on his tail. Maybe a draft could get him closer to the 47. And then this could be a, a hard charging three-way battle towards the very end Walker could be up to his first win with CTM oh and thanks for the draft 19 is coming on the 47 so certainly these three cars are now gathering together we got five laps to go now so C is gonna have to be really careful and see if you can try and and do something because I think the more he stays in front the more draft he'll get and that will give Jameson the advantage up front Walker seems to be keeping him at bay at the moment we don't know how long will he hold him up and here it comes here comes senior on the 19 look at these three cars getting close to each other one by one it is a definite train. Oh my gosh. I cannot watch this. Here comes the 88 on the 19. Will he make it stick? He goes side by side over the 19. 
pushing 90 on the outside. Now he's up into second place. Will he take over the 47? We got three laps to go. Senior is having a hard time right now today. I mean, he is working really hard from 22nd on the grid. And now he's up in the second place. We have got three laps to go. So literally anything is inevitable with a potential uh, opportunity of that move for that lead before anything happens. Jameson now getting close trying to, to get his second place back from Senior. Now Senior is he, his time is running out for any chance of winning as we're coming up to the white flag. Oh, it could be out of these three cars. We don't know yet. Here we come. Here we come. Here's the thing. And we will not get the points today after this race. And it's almost a guarantee. Senior. This is this is only hope. This is only the last corner. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's gonna try and outscore the four seven for a race win, but not enough. Maybe not. But oh, here he comes. This is potentially gonna be a photo finish. Does, Does he get it? Does he go to the front? I think he will. Cameron Senior will take the win here in Australia off that one last that last lap pass, that very last corner pass for the win. Cameron Senior gets Three, up in front. For two seasons after. Cameron Senior finally got one over Andrew Walker for that past race. What a close battle for the win in Australia. Honestly, I'll say, out of all the boring Australia races, this is probably the best we've seen so far. It was a very, it was a very close battle again. It was a very close one. Not a photo finish, but a very close one. You can see how these cars were so close to each other in the top three. Well, we thought any, any out of these three cars would win the race, and we did see a race win out of these three cars, and that is Cambridge Senior. Drew Walker just wasn't able to hold it after a number of laps in the lead. In fact, he led most of the race, so, so that's going to be a bit of a, of a dampening effect for the or more of a baffling effect for their for, for the number 47 or well, James Jameson will continue to get back up through through, through the points rankings in, in third place after uh, an astonishing win last race in Japan Kendrick Meeks set to be back on top with a four place finish Joy Maddox will continue his breakthrough uh, championship uh, campaign this season oh. with a fifth place finish. Nolo Hamilton fifth place. Dylan Hayden seventh place. Avery Hamilton eighth place. Leiden Hill ninth place. And Owen Scott tenth. Those are your top ten finishers. As we go down, obviously the only retiree being Nikki Rive. Uh, Dex Miyazaki obviously had a. Don't know if he had a penalty or an issue, but he's several laps, he's like two laps down. CJ Williams with that collision with Nicky Wife obviously had an effect on his performance. So there you go. So there it is. That this is this is the race in Australia. And gosh, I need a rest after that. Right. Who's got the fastest lap time? I think that's David Dixon. He will bring home the fastest lap time. Well, Coolio, well, I can't believe I'm going back to work tomorrow. Oh, gosh. I had a good two days rest, so I have to go back to work. So we're going to have to um, uh, cut it short and sweet and bring this stream to an end. And I hope the stream is doing well for me because last two races was not doing really well for me. It was just awful lagging of stream and I didn't like it so but anyway guess we've made it a better race so 
let's bring it to an end. Thank you, everyone, for this uh, for this astonishing race, and God knows what else will bring to us. So let's move on. Um, I think next race is South Africa, as I've just heard. We'll find out um, where it where it is. Um, blah 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 blah. Yes, it's taking him taking me a bit of time to look for the the schedule. Okay, there it is. Ah, South Africa. So that's in around uh, maybe two race time. I think uh, probably a double header on a Saturday. Is it is is on the cards? I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna maybe um yeah I I think I'm gonna rest for a couple of days from streaming races. Hold on, let me check the the calendar right now. Um, so yeah, I think uh, yeah for Thursday and Friday I'm gonna rest. So we'll probably start preparing on a double header on Saturday. So I think that's the plan. So potentially a double header race day on Saturday with South Africa and Germany. And uh, oh, don't forget, we have uh, Rio. We have a, we, we'll be racing at a brand new track at Rio. Um, well, not entirely brand new, but uh, this is a track we have not been before. That is. At the um, the Emerson Fittipaldi Speedway, I think, or the Nelson PK uh, racetrack. Uh, yeah, that that's the that's the track uh, that uh, was set at the say around around the site of the Olympic site. So this could be an interesting uh, at Rio. To see what race will bring to us. So for the next couple of days, it's going to be hard working to try and get these races done. Um, South Africa and and Germany, so let's hope that we we can uh, we can make better races from there as we go along. This season has started poorly, but it's getting a bit better. So now let's wrap it up. So thank you everyone for 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 this race today, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next race at South Africa. That's right, we're going we're gonna fly down south to South Africa. Take care, everyone, and I shall see you there.